All right, we're starting off in the Sawgrass Grove area. This is the Azell Rec Center parking lot in St. Catherine. We're going to take a look at all the things going on by the Azell Rec Center. You have the indoor market, which is this long building with the right white roof right here sawgrass grove indoor market kind of like a flea market and construction is still underway you can see some trucks backed up i believe they're bringing stuff in there um, a lot of this stuff is supposed to be open up soon i know mcgrady's pub is open there's the azel rec center there uh, mcgrady's pub is open they had Limited hours at the beginning. There was a ton of people when I went by there today. You can see them working on the square there for the live entertainment area. Trying to get that all finished. And it's kind of cool because they have the rail car there where the actual stage will be. This is right in the middle of the St. Catherine area north of Case and Hammock and Citrus Grove and north of the Southern Oaks uh, golf course which you can see there in the background we'll take a fly over that in a little bit but we're gonna look at the Azell putting course so we're going to look at a few things in this video. You'll have this area. You'll have the Magnolia Plaza. Uh, you'll have West Fenny. And a couple other things that we're going to look at. So here's the Azell putting course that we're going to fly over. Not a lot of people out here because it's 8 million degrees in the middle of the day. I think I was out here about 2.30, 3 o'clock which is why you see so much traffic in the parking lot and the parking lot's pretty full but you will not see a lot of people out on the course because it's about 93 95 degrees at this time and these are their putting greens that they have out here this area is close so like if you're in the Hawkins area Citrus Grove um, Case and Hammock Bradford any of those areas have pretty quick access. Also St. John and uh, Richmond will have probably within 10 minutes of here at the most via golf cart. And it runs right along the north side of the turnpike. And Southern Oaks is a championship golf course. So it's a 18 hole course that you can play on all this entertainment is pretty close to all those areas plus you have brownwood pretty close as well now here's the southern oaks golf course here and like i said it's a championship course three fives three fours three threes on each side of the road and then you have the southern oaks bridge being built right here this is going to connect the north side to the south side. We're going to get nice and close to that so you can actually see it. Um, north, north and south side of the turnpike. And that's going to be uh, both vehicle and golf cart access that they're working on right now. They've been shutting down lanes on the turnpike at night. Uh, I did see a another sign today when I was driving out there about northbound traffic being shut down so I don't, I don't know what they're doing there but I don't even know if it has anything to do with this bridge I did notice some turnpike noise when I was riding along the uh, road on Megason Road headed from this area toward uh, Warm Springs but that wasn't in the housing area so i am going to do a video soon about the turnpike noise so you guys can check that out for yourself 
This is in the middle of a weekday, so quite a bit of traffic on the turnpike, like I said. I think it was 3, right around 3 o'clock when I was out here. And you can see the, the progress that they have done on the bridge. I believe they plan to have this done in 23, 2023. And the Bexley Bridge, which is right next to it, is getting torn down as far as I'm aware. You can actually see where they have the golf cart trail and then they have the vehicle trail or the vehicle lanes on the bridge also, which is pretty neat. That is going to be a pretty cool addition because it's going to put the connectivity even better. You can see all the construction south of the turnpike. That area is pretty massive. That actually leads you down to the Middleton area where they're building the charter schools. We're facing the west right now. The turnpike kind of runs northwest to southeast at this point. And that is the, uh, that's the little turnpike rest area right there in the middle. And we're, this is Case and Hammock that we're going over. You can see Hawkins is right there where the arrow is. Hawkins is a pretty big area. And then you have Bradford just at the top right of your screen there. We're kind of turning toward the north. This area, that road that's running parallel to us right now is Megasin. That is St. Catherine. And then we're flying over Case and Hammock, like I said. And this is kind of facing north, northeast now. I know a lot of you have been been seeing some comments about some maps and things like that. I am working on that. I kind of want to get a decent map going for you. And then there's Citrus Grove over in the top right. Now this Megasin is going to run all the way out through Newell, Dabney, uh, Lake Deaton. And it's going to go over to the Central Parkway 470 area where you can get on the turnpike there as well and you can see in the top right of your screen the areas of construction that are brand new just getting started up while well, they're not just being started up they've been going and that first area just on the other side of citrus grove that is the newell area kind of right on the other side of that little power plant I guess I would call it now this is the Magnolia Plaza this area there's no businesses in this little shopping mall here in front of the Publix Plaza and then you can see Citizens First Bank and some insurance is in there dental McDonald's is open McDonald's has been open for a while um, someone had mentioned they wanted to see what was in Magnolia Plaza so I got some videos of that. It's pretty busy because it's the middle of the day. Definitely doing my best not to fly over any traffic here. And they do have golf cart rental down here now. Uh, right over here in the middle of your screen, kind of at the top, where you can rent and purchase golf carts. Uh, that's the village's golf cars. And then you have the uh, four softball fields up in the top middle of your screen there. We'll take a look at those. They keep those uh, softball fields pretty amazing. I'm not sure what's going in here where it's a big open area, but I'm sure we'll find that out soon. Here's the softball fields here. Honestly, every time I've been out here, I have yet to see any teams playing or anything like that it looks like they were getting ready to or finishing up we got one one gentleman out there but they always look phenomenal I know they wouldn't be out there in the middle of the day when it's 95 degrees so and then here is your 
other rec center, which is pretty close um, to that St. Catherine area. Once that connectivity is there and you can go over the turnpike real easy, all that will be there for you. All right, now this is West, well, not West Fenny, but the hammock at Fenny. The retail areas are under construction. This is the north side of Warm Springs where you see this building here. And it does have a drive through so I, I'm not sure what that's going to be. And then this one south of Warm Springs here as well. Looks like it's going to be a little mini mall again. And there's retail space for the villages right on the corner as well. So I did a video a while back, uh, the hammock at Fenny, where you could drive around. And I didn't know what that was going to be. But now looking at how they have it set up, it looks like it's going to be a golf cart trail. Because it's going to lead to that retail space, commercial space that's going to be on the corner. I was really coming out here to see if they were working on the bypass at all. I did not see anything about the bypass or any construction for the bypass yet. Uh, the bypass is going to cut through by Coleman. Uh, so it will go, you'll, you won't go through the town of Coleman anymore. If you're on 301, you'll go around the outskirts and the industrial park is out here as well. That water tower in the top middle of your screen is a village's water tower. So that's where they're going to be building, or they will be building out that way. And it did say they were going to put a lot of commercial stuff in this area, as well as homes. They were approved for that. This was probably five or six months ago that I read that. So no new construction out here yet. Uh, they haven't even begin to bulldoze over any dirt or anything, but I would assume they're probably going to finish up with Newell, Dabney, and Lake Deaton. Uh, they, they also have Richmond and, and West Deluna going, obviously. So they have quite a bit going on right now. And then West Fenny bumps up against Red and Gray Fox. These are executive golf courses. The nine hole courses, there is one golf cart out there that you can see brave in the 95 degree weather. Well, we're going to span, this is going north here. And you can see that blue roof in the distance in the middle. If you've watched any of the DeLuna videos, that is that motocross uh, building there. And then we're going to look toward the west and this is where you're going to see the industrial park. I've done a couple videos on the industrial park, um, none recent, so I will get out there soon and take a peek at that. But the industrial park is right over here once we start to turn. You can see some of the buildings. That is where the village's sun, the daily sun is. Uh, that's where all your pre-built walls and all that type of stuff come from is right there. It has a little spur where they bring it in on the train and then they they have a cement plant where they put the walls and everything together. All the raw materials come in, they build it, and then they bring it out to the build sites. Now, as we go north here, this is 301 that comes around. And as we go north, uh, there's that motocross building. I started going this way just because I saw the smoke, thought maybe they would be doing some land clearing, but I didn't really see that. T&D Pools is out here as well. Or a part of T&D. I don't know if it's the T&D Pools but it's part of T&D. And you can see that beautiful junkyard in the, in the right side of your screen in the middle with all of those cars. 
and West DeLuna is up at the top right there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, as always, I appreciate you watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and there's a closer look at the old junkyard for you. Have a nice day, and I will see you in the next one.